Dooby 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 doo. Okay, so for my cabinets, I got in uh, five sheets of maple plywood. And as you can see, my shop's kind of small, so it's kind of difficult to keep moving around the sheets of plywood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a lot of linear cuts on the plywood for my widths. Now, fortunately, cabinets are all the same size. The base cabinets are 24 inches deep and the uppers are 12 inches. Now, generally when you have a face frame on the front, that leaves you three quarters. So you cut all the sides at 23 and a quarter and you cut all the uppers at 11 and a quarter. Now, in my case, I have a little bit of a tongue and groove there, so that's going to be another quarter inch I add to it. So instead of 23 and a quarter, I'm going to cut these all at 23 and a half. Now, I got this DeWalt uh, track saw, and it works really well. I, I really love, love this thing. Well, love is a hard word, but I like it a lot. Um, I do have, I've had this for years, uh, this one, and this is like the 58 inch one. And this is perfect for going across the width of the plywood or smaller cuts. But when you're going the full length of plywood, you know, I, I hate having to stop and then readjust everything. So what I ended up purchasing is one of these long, I think it's 108 or 109 inch track saws or tracks for the saw. So I got this uh, yesterday. So the first thing I have to do is I have to make a cut along this little plastic piece here. This, uh, this plastic piece, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and do a close up. But when you cut it, it cuts in a little bit, and that's going to give you your proper uh, cut. That's going to be your finished cut along the edge there. And that's what's help, going to help keep everything clean because it's going to be your uh, flush cut or flush edge right there uh, when the saw blade comes up. So anyway, I'm going to make that first cut here. And what I do is I put my plywood, and I have an inch, I think it's an inch and a half, a uh, piece of foam core um, insulation. And I, I just went to Home Depot and bought a uh, sheet of the thickest one I could find there. And it's been here for a while because I think this one was manufactured 112817. So they have the manufacture date on it. Um, so I'm going to make my cuts here. I'm going to turn on my uh, vacuum, get my saw ready, get some uh, ear protection on, and go ahead and make this cut across this piece first. And then I'm going to set it up and start making my rip cuts on all of my pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, three of the pieces or maybe four of the pieces uh, for my base cabinets and then I'm going to use one the other piece for my upper cabinets. Now the floor, um, I'll, I'll, most of my base cabinets have drawers so that's not an issue as to uh, you know the ones that go in between everything but my floor is going to have to be 23 and a half inch, going to be exactly the same as the sides. Uh, the upper part is going to be open, so that's not going to be an issue there. And um, so all of my uh, rails that go in there are just going to be different sizes, but I don't have to make those cuts right now. So right now I'm just going to make all those rips, make it nice and easy so I can stack them all up in one corner there. They're easy to get to, uh, easy to keep out of the way, and it's much easier to handle than a large 4 by 8 sheet. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so what I've done is I've measured 23 and a half inches and made two marks. I made one mark about here and one mark about the same distance at the other end. And uh, I'm just going to follow along this track right straight on through. Now, at that end, I put a clamp like this one here down there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my first cut come in a little bit and I'll reclamp this up just to make sure nothing goes and I'll go all the way to the end and I reclamp it down there. Now they do sell clamps that slide into this T-track here that are probably pretty nice and I'll probably get one of those a little bit later on but uh, right now uh, this will work for me so I'm going to go ahead and get my ears on, get my other camera set up here. Okay, so there you go. Made my cut with the track saw. Move this on over. And 
The beauty of the track saw is that um, it gives this nice, beautiful, clean edge. And when you use the um, insulation down below, the bottom is just as nice. I mean, it's a little bit rougher, but, uh, but it's pretty nice too. And it's exactly 23 and one half inches. So I'm just gonna continue cutting these for the rest of my board, stack them up probably over in this corner right here so that they're out of my way. And then once I get them all done and all cut, I'll start making my horizontal shots. Now, again, like I said, the, the nice thing is that all these are gonna be the same width. So that makes uh, cutting it up easy. You're not really wasting anything. I mean, you might waste some down there, but whatever I have down there, I'm gonna cut up into my little pieces for um, my basically rail spacers that go in between the cabinet. And uh, cause I don't want solid shelves in between each of my drawers because sometimes that makes it difficult to get in there. Sometimes you need to remove the top drawer to get down to the bottom one to move some out cause it's stuck or you might need to move the bottom drawer to get something you know, stuck out of the top drawer. So it's nice to be able to reach through and get to those, but it's nice to have that webbing inside to create a nice solid cabinet. So that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. But if you, if you don't have a track saw, I'd recommend uh, that if you're gonna do any plywood cutting, this is the tool that you really wanna do it with. Uh, it can cut down the work and you're just not gonna get cut like this on a table saw. It's just, it's not gonna happen. I mean, you have to make a preliminary cut on the one side, then flip it over and then make your final cut to get such a smooth edge. Even if you take and put tape across there and make the cut, it doesn't seem to come out uh, quite as nice. Uh, this one here, let me see, I got, I got a clamp over here, so I don't wanna just flip that up. But even this side here is really, really clean. And it's a very clean cut across the plywood here too. So uh, yeah, definitely a good investment. Track saws do save you time and effort and um, are a good investment if you're gonna be cutting plywood. Okay, so now I have my upper sides and my lower sides over here. Much easier to carry them around, move them around the shop, uh, cut them, all of that. So uh, I'm gonna start on a base cabinet here. Now I'm gonna start cutting these, but I don't really have to because fortunately I have a pair already cut out uh, that I did last time on the last cuts that I made. So for these right here, they're gonna sit here for a little while, but when I do go ahead and cut across there, I will most likely take out my track saw with this much shorter uh, fence and run it on through. So that's how I cut all my plywood and make it so it's easier to handle in the shop and not have to uh, try and store four by eight sheets. Now, one thing I will say is I did purchase this from uh, Home Depot. And uh, normally I get my wood from a, a lumber company. I get it from a place called Real Lumber Down the Hill and Peterman Lumber. And uh, that plywood is about the same price uh, as this. It's much better plywood. Uh, I, I would not recommend buying maple plywood from Home Depot. I don't know how Lowe's would be when I went there. They were out of stock on that. That's the first place I went to uh, because they happen to be up here. The other two places are uh, a good 80 mile round trip. And then plus I have to take a trailer down there to pull it all up. So I just went over here because it's a little bit easier. But uh, I would not recommend this plywood for finished cabinets. Uh, if you were doing a lot of them, I, I would recommend that you go to an actual lumber company and buy it. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, they're gonna look nice, they're gonna look beautiful once I'm done. But I noticed that they have a lot of openings in there. It's just not the same quality as you get for the same price at a lumber company. So just a, a thought. So anyway, that's just a quick tip on how I'm gonna cut all these, uh, making these cuts with the track saw. If you like this video, please do subscribe and uh, follow along as I continue on this odyssey that is my kitchen. Thanks.